What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the big games that have been delayed until 2023. All of these games were supposed to come out some point this year in 2022, but now they have all been delayed until next year. This is not all of the games that have been delayed. This is just some of the bigger titles. First of all, Hogwarts Legacy was one that I was looking forward to. I am a Harry Potter fan. This game could either be a big success or a big flop. It could be a big success if they make a huge open world RPG with a lot of different options. I think a lot of people would really like Hogwarts Legacy. So we're going to have to wait until sometime next year. Looks like early spring for that. Ark Raiders was another game a lot of people were looking forward to. We do not have a specific date for that yet, but it is 2023. Lord of the Rings Gollum was once again kind of that thing. If you're like a Harry Potter fan, you were looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy. If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you might have been looking forward to Gollum. That has no specific release date yet either. It is just sometime in 2023. The Avatar game, I think a lot of people were looking forward to it because of how good the CGI and things were in the movie you know, years ago when it came out. I think a lot of people were thinking Avatar, if it was a well-made game, it could have some insane graphics as well. So that was the one thing I think a lot of people were looking forward to with it. That has also been delayed to 2023. No date on that just yet. Starfield, another big game by Bethesda. A lot of people have been waiting for Starfield. A lot of people have been waiting for Starfield to come out. So Bethesda will announce when the Elder Scrolls next game is going to come out. Starfield has been delayed to 2023. Probably a good idea because the last few games Bethesda has made has kind of not been very popular with the community. So they may be trying to make sure that this one is going to be on point. No bugs, no problems, no issues when it comes out. So that may be why they decided to wait and delay Starfield again. Red Falls, another game a lot of people are looking forward to. An interesting looking game that has been delayed to 2023 with no date yet. The Witcher 3 for current gen consoles has been delayed kind of just, and we have no answer of when that's going to come out. They have not said yet if it's going to be out in 2023, maybe by the end of 2022. We just know that Witcher 3 for current gen is delayed. Uh, the Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel is going to come out sometime next spring. I know a lot of Nintendo fans out there were really looking forward to Zelda. That is one that has been kind of, you know, just put on the back burner for a little bit until they get some things worked out uh, over there trying to get that game perfect for its release. That's going to be one of the biggest releases for Nintendo. Every time a Zelda game comes out, there's always a massive release. So that's going to be put, like I said, just kind of put back a little while until spring of 23. And last but not least, Stalker 2. I know a lot of people were looking forward to Stalker 2. That was a game that was kind of talked about when it was first announced. That has been delayed until 2023 or even further. No specific date on that. Uh, the last thing I saw about this was probably quarter three of 2023 or later. So we'll kind of have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what games you were looking forward to that got delayed. Like I said, there were some other ones that I did not talk about on this list. I was just kind of talking about some of the bigger name games. There's a lot of things that have been delayed to next year. And it's kind of disappointing, especially if you have a new gen console. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.